name of this video is why do uh, mobile kitchen dishwashing trailers temporary facilities save insurance companies and food service professionals lots of time and money during construction renovation or expansion of commercial food service operations um, the reason why is because phase construction we believe takes a lot more time to to do um, because you have to be concerned about the occupants inside the existing kitchen with construction dust mold spores circulating in the environment and which and with such a sensitive uh, legal legal environment that we're in um, it's easy for someone to say that they got sick because of construction that was done while they were eating or while they were working in such an environment even though all the safety precautions are being handled uh, at temporary kitchens most local contractors do not realize that uh, this resource is available and that everything that the existing facility has in their kitchen uh, the mobile kitchens and temporary kitchens have in them they have the three compartment sinks the hand sinks uh, the Ansel fire suppression systems the griddles the ranges and uh, these are the basic equipment uh, additional equipment such as tilt skillets and kettles can be added as needed and um, the advantage of the modular kitchens is, is that it's very easy to take out uh, remove one cooking appliance and and replace it with another now the reason why the local contractor is not normally the person that um, that proposes this ideal is because they're not used to dealing with um, a temporary kitchen or mobile kitchens on a normal basis now they can become educated by watching this video and the videos in this in this blog series or just by simply looking over the website and watching one or two videos and they can become up to speed very fast it would take them anywhere from um, 15 minutes to an hour to understand the concept and understand um, how easy it is to erect a temporary facility uh, typically within a hundred feet of the existing facility the three major questions that um, contractors commercial food consultants and operators ask are as follows Will the food service, um, will the food, the existing food service operator be willing to change their menu during the time of construction? Um, for the contractor, they may ask, well, what does that have to do with uh, the size of the kitchen or, or, or why is that so important? Well, in the food service industry, um, everything starts and begins with uh, the menu the menu tells you um, how much refrigeration space you need and how much kitchen space you may desire so for example if you're doing scratch cooking you will need um, you will need more room because each chef will require his or her own station scratch cooking is uh, fresh cooking uh, using fresh ingredients normally refrigerated so um, the second question would be are they going to be using plated service during the kitchen renovation a plated service would require a dishwasher 
to avoid cross contamination, you wouldn't want to be bringing customers uh, dirty dishes into a a clean, sanitized uh, kitchen. Even though you, you you know you could, but that would be a potential cross contaminated cross contamination hazard. So we offer conveyor belt uh, low temperature push through. Um, dish machines and dish trailers for rental uh, for customers that have plated service and there are many videos on our website uh, that show these kitchens I mean uh, these dish, tra dish trailers in action uh, they, they come with three compartment sinks as well and hand sinks just like uh, the kitchens do uh, the third question that we're asked is how will the kitchens be powered? Well, the, the mobile kitchens, uh, most of the time, uh, customers opt for propane because propane is simple. Uh, it, it's just a matter of calling your local propane vendor. Um, our kitchens have already um, places to set the propane bottles. Uh, the kitchens do come with propane bottles, but uh, sometimes the local service provider uh, provides quick disconnect uh, or manifold. Uh, manifold is a word used that it goes from one bottle to the next bottle to the next bottle uh, of propane. So when, when one tank is empty, then another one is, is filled. Uh, we also, most of our units can be operated on electric. Or propane um, and in this picture you can see the typical uh, electrical skid that may be used for high uh, voltage operations in many case uh, cases uh, it's just a matter of uh, with like one kitchen and one uh, dishwashing uh, trailer uh, if the kitchen runs on propane, then it's only a matter of 250 or so amps. So, uh, in this case, you may be able to just run from the exist from your existing building. Your electrical contractor, your licensed electrical contractor, is the one that's responsible for installing uh, your electrical require your electrical needs. In this section of our, web, our website, we have some clear, more higher production value uh, videos than this. This video, this video is more informative uh, and provides education on what a mobile kitchen is and how it's used. And um, again, typically, they're they're set up outside within a hundred feet of the existing kitchen. Uh, the health Department requirements are normally uh, a restroom within a hundred feet that the employees can use. Employee locker rooms, and sometimes they're, you know, that's they're kind of flexible. Flexible on that. Sometimes they will allow the locker rooms be to be set up in a in a in an office or something like that. Um, and um, of course, they would want. Uh, hot water at at least a minimum of 120 degrees for uh, washing hands so sometimes in in school districts um, that that temperature is a little hot for the kids so you know they would need to to probably use their existing uh, uh, facilities existing um, what's it called, rec room, adult rec room facilities in that situation. Uh, we can also get the health permit for you or guide you on how to do it. Uh, this is a highly specialized skill. and This is something that I normally handle for the customers. Sometimes I'll go and get the, the health department uh, permit for the customers for an additional fee. Uh, this is a highly specialized uh, area 
and it's um, taken many years of education and experience to obtain um, the skills necessary to easily get uh, permits. I'm able to get them probably faster than anyone else in the United States, but it, uh, my education has come at a, at a, at a hefty price. Um, for myself, I am uh, certified in fire uh, restoration and cleanup or fire cleanup, um, water damage uh, cleanup. Um, all of our uh, operators are food serve certified, meaning that and uh, as managers, meaning that they could step in at any restaurant and, and be a manager. They're aware of uh, microorganisms, cross contaminations. They know the life the lifespan of even a fly. They're they're constantly tested by myself. Uh, we we take pride in having the highest level of customer service. Um, please, if you like this video, it takes a lot of time and effort, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, like the video, um, like, the, like our blog posts, and if you have more questions, give us a call at 1-800-205-6106. Again, that's 1-800-205-6106. And uh, feel free to visit our website, www.temporarykitchens123. Uh, thank you so much, and we look forward to providing uh, your temporary kitchen.